What's going on YouTube? Muso9 here. Just coming on, gonna make a preview video for Chargers Vikings. I'm fucking stoked. I'm stoked. I'm excited about Donovan McNabb being here. A lot of people think it's a bad decision, not me. Um, it's kind of like the far situation when he came. Everybody just said bad move, you know. You know what? We just gotta wait and see what happens. But first and foremost, JY. Thank you, my brother. I really appreciate it. I don't know if y'all can see this, but it's an autographed mini helmet. We had a hat bet for uh, the divisional playoffs in 09, which we beat Dallas 34-3. So, thank you, j -Wad. I appreciate it. I'm willing to do a bet with you anytime we play again. And you know what? I'll be a man of my word, and I will give you whatever you want to. Um, the other thing, there's a few things here. Before we get to the Charger shit, I gotta get to the Saints-Packers bullshit right now. There is a Saints fan, two Saints fans, that will agree with me when I say, Brett Favre is what made you guys who you are. Whether he was playing us or not, the guy was a respectable quarterback, even when he was with you guys. I had no issue with him, I was always a fan of him. I mean, obviously, you know, I hated it when he beat us, but you know, it is what it is. But, you know what, and congrats to Green Bay, I'm winning a Super Bowl, even though you should be kissing our ass right now. You should be kissing the rest of the ass from week seven. I mean, I'm not the only one that thinks that. Saints fans think that. And obviously, as you've seen on the report, the Monday after that game, they said they made a bad call. They apologized to the Minnesota Vikings. But it is what it is. It doesn't matter. The Green Bay Packers are 2010 Super Bowl champs. You can't take it back. Nothing you can do about it. But, and you know what? Uh, Sergeant Johnny, congrats. Packers, everybody, congrats for that. But you know, the Saints, you guys are out of control with this shit. You know, you guys keep bringing up how the Vikings are sucking shit, but yet you guys are the most overrated team out there besides Green Bay. Man, come on. In my opinion, we had a shitty team in 2008. Adrian Pearson ran for what, 32 yards? 32 yards in that game and we beat y'all's ass? Come on. But, anyway. I mean, it's ridiculous saying you guys are twice as good as anybody in the league because you got one fucking Super Bowl and you guys have the best fan base? I don't think so. The only people that I know of that are true Saints fans in my eyes, obviously Big Gravy is. He's always supported his team. Um, let's see. Saints Uptown, he's done it. Um, there's one other one, Danny Bingo. He's a true Saints fan, and you know, I'm that's all I got on this. Let's get to the Chargers game real quick. Uh, I'll tell you this right now, Vikes fans. I'll be honest with you. I'll probably be the only one making bids this year for us. But week one, I am very concerned. Good. Philip Rivers is a good quarterback. Vincent Jackson's a good receiver. You gotta watch out for Antonio Gates. Um, the only thing they probably don't have on us is a run game, which we do. And obviously the last time we played the Chargers, uh, Adrian Peterson set a record. 296 yards, 296 uh, rushing yards in one game. So that's huge. That, that's huge. Um, should we go with that coming into this game? Uh, yes and no. Because there's no guarantee that's been, what, four years now? Um, you know, so we'll see what happens. I bet through their defense have probably stepped up a little more than what they were then. They're definitely a playoff team, definitely a playoff contender. But you know what, guys? So are we. And you know what? Uh, I expect a big game, a big game. Mark my words. Bernard Berrien, I expect a huge game out of him. I think he's going to be the standout on this team this year. Um, and we got a Roma Shadu from the Bears, and we got Michael Jenkson, Jenkins from the Falcons. I like Jenkins. I've always watched him. I've always thought he's a good player, so I'm glad we got him. Roma should do. If y'all don't know who he is, week 16 of 2009, he had the touchdown pass from Jay Cutler to beat us in overtime, which Antoine Winfield tripped. Imagine that. Just saying. But uh, look forward to a hell of a game with the Chargers. I'm excited. It is football season. It kicks off tonight. Uh, this is the one and only time you're ever going to hear me say this. Go Saints. That's all I'm going to say about that. And I know by fact, on Sunday, Bears fans don't get excited. You're going to get beat by the Falcons. We all know that. So, uh, NFC South, kick the shit out of the Bears and the Packers. 
Go Saints tonight. Go Falcons Sunday. Vikes, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's show this freaking. Let's show the NFC and the AFC, the whole entire NFL. Let's show them how tough we really are. And for all you guys that said that this division is weak, you're full of shit. Look at the last two years. The two years. Last year you had two NFC North, two NFC North division rivals play in the NFC Championship game. The year before that you had the Vikings. So don't don't come out here saying that the NF the NFC North is weak. Um, to be honest with you, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie to nobody right now. I'll tell you the truth. The team that I'm worried about this year in this division, it's not who you think. Green Bay, don't get excited. It's not you. Bears, don't get excited either, because it's definitely not you. Detroit is who I worry about. Why don't I worry about the Bears? I'll tell you right now. You don't have a number one wide receiver. You got rid of the one that you did have, and he wasn't even a receiver. You have no run game. You just cut a player that you guys never, never used for the right reasons. If you'd have been smart about it and actually gave him the ball once in a while, he probably would have done something for you. So I hope and I pray we get Chester Taylor back because, damn, that guy is good on third downs. And also, we all know Kevin Williams got suspended two games. That's another reason why we got to be worried here. But, man, I tell you, I am stoked. I'm ready to go. I'm back. I'll be here full time. I do apologize to all you guys last year for just kind of dipping out. I had some shit going on. so. But you know what? I'm back here full time. We're good the whole season, win or lose. School Vikes. See you guys Sunday. Let's go, baby. Woo!